just want to thank you guys for being supportive over the years to my team, to the guys. Uh, thank you for being supportive for me throughout my injuries year after year. I uh, appreciate you guys for taking me in and being patient with me throughout my injuries. Uh, and uh, you guys are the best fans uh, in the country. So I appreciate that. Love y'all. Okay, so this is not to be funny. This is to be serious. I, I hadn't seen the video. I show it just like you guys, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen. So if you'll just give me three and a half minutes, this is more important to me than it is to you. So I remember the first day that I met Chris. That was before you guys knew me, and that was before I knew you. Chris wasn't very good. I said this wasn't meant to be funny. So all of us, no matter how old you are, no matter what gender you are, no matter what race you are, no matter where you're from, we all have an appetite to be known. All of us. No matter where you're at in your life, we all have an appetite to be known. And that appetite can never be quenched. However many followers you have on Twitter, you want just a few more. However many friends you have on Facebook, you want just a few more. However many wins you've had as a head coach, you want more. However many years you've played in the NBA as a, head, as a player, you want more. So for the next minute, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what Chris is known for. So in his first year here, as a freshman, he played in nine games, and he broke his left foot. In his second year here, in our third game, for those of you guys that are season ticket holders, that was the 2009-2010 season, we played South Dakota. He broke his right foot. We left the next morning to go to Orlando to play the Disney World Classic. And Chris O'Toole was here to have surgery by himself. In the third year, he played in 35 games. Chris, you started all 35 games. In his fourth year, we're playing at the Garden of the Jimmy B Classic. And right here, against Washington, I heard the most painful sound that I've ever heard a human being make. That left a scar on my heart that I'll never forget. That was our eighth game, and he tore his ACL. Last year, we played 35 games. He played in all of them. He started all of them. All those things are going to replace his name. What you think you want to be known for 
as something professional. And then as you get older and you get married, you realize that number one, you probably need to be known as the spouse to your husband or wife. And as you become a parent, that becomes your second priority. You want to be known as a dad or a mother to whoever your children are. And as much fun as all of this has been at Madness, and as many times as he and I have both shared Madness together, and as many games as we've won, whether that's in the tournament or at the Bradley Center or somewhere else, I can honestly tell you, not because you guys are here, I would say it whether you are here or not, whether it was Madness or not, the thing that I'm most proud of, personally, is that I'm a husband of four and that I'm the father to zero. I'm Chris O'Toole, he's coming.